Welcome back to Newsday. Thank you so much for staying with us. Now, News Just In says that in spite of a subsisting court order, officials of the EFCC are currently at the Abuja residence of the former governor of Kogi State, Yahaya Bello. Arise correspondent F Ferdinand Durohoa joins us live from the scene. Good afternoon. Ferdinand, can you give us uh, a, an explanation of what exactly is going on over there? All right, thank you so much. And um, well, uh, as much as we can let you know, well, we are in Wuse Zone 4, and it's uh, supposedly the, the, the residence of the former governor of um, uh, Kogi State, uh, Yahya Belu, where we see EFCC officials trying to execute an arrest. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Uh, we have not been able to, you know, get any of them to speak to us, and that's because, as far as they are concerned, it is about, uh, you know, executing the warrants that they have. Now, we're speaking to some of um, uh, the associates of the former governor who say they have presented, you know, some legal documents uh, to them in, in terms of, uh, you know, a, a court order trying to restrict you know, on the governor which was gotten sometime two months ago, precisely in February. But the EFCC officials are adamant, and as far as they are concerned, they... Is this, um, if, if this court order, you know, is in place, why, what is this apparent, what looks like a, the apparent disregard for, for the judiciary in this case? Do you, can you make any sense of it based on what you're hearing or seeing on ground? All right, well, um, uh, let's say this is not the first time we're getting to see things like this. Well, a couple of uh, years back, well, we were at the residence of, um, you know, the former governor of Imo State, to be precise, Rocha Sokurocha, and, um, you know, it, things took a similar tone. The FCC officials are coming very early in the morning, saying they want to, you know, they want to uh, effect an arrest. Uh, the former governor then, you know, presenting some papers and saying, well, there is a court order restricting you from, you know, arresting more of my families. But we all know exactly how it ended. Well, it took some hours, five, six hours, seven hours or thereabouts. And then at about, uh, you know, 5 p.m. later in the evening, uh, place. Now, that's exactly what the script looks like at this point. But then we want to believe that um, uh, in terms of our democracy, we would have uh, seen some kind of advancement uh, to ensure that um, everybody behaves like a general gentleman if there is a court order we believe that the lawyer should be able to talk things through and um, if there's any reason for the governor to visit the EFCs to visit the commission well he should do that as a gentleman and then they should move on and then if there are court orders well it's all about uh, going to okay, the magistrate okay, and the magistrate making things clear okay, uh, uh, and that's exactly what we see from experience but um, All right, uh, you know, our time is far Hello. spent very quickly. Uh, Ferdinand, can you confirm, is the former governor home or are any of his representatives home? Who is there and uh, from the inside of the compound, you know, uh, uh, what's happening on the inside of the compound? Well, from um, what we, you know, from uh, what we got from uh, his representatives, well, we couldn't confirm if he's uh, home or not. But uh, from what we got from the representatives, well, the lawyers approached the EFCC, well, presented uh, a document that they have, a document uh, showing that uh, in a court, a court uh, barring the EFCC for making any arrest. Now, that's exactly what we were told that um, that happened at about, um, you know, 9:30, 10, 10:30 10 thereabout. And since then, well, it's been over two hours and um, the EFCC are not here. So what that tells us is that um, there seemingly is no headway uh, as regards uh, that. Now, we can't confirm if he's home, but um, trust me, these officials uh, do not just uh, come out. They come out with um, uh, good information and then good intel. So if that hunch is clear, then um, that means the, the, you know, the former governor, governor might be uh, in his residence. But that's not to say, well, you know, we've seen some other things happen. I, I remember some time ago, uh, we remember the EFCC being at the home of, um, uh, was it the former, was it the former, uh, uh, the former uh, 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 senior president? And then, well, he actually made some other, you know, he actually used some other routes uh, to, to 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 vacate the premises. So we, nobody knows for now. Uh, we will just sit by and uh, watch the drama play out. I hope we don't get in. I'm already a little prepared as regards um, uh, because we've seen canisters uh, being thrown at us before. So this is not the first time. But um, we just hope that things will take a civil, you know, shape.
We know you're definitely prepared. Uh, but please take care of yourself. Safety first. Arise correspondent Ferdinand Duroha, live from the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. Thank you so much.